Your windows just crashed, and you need a reinstallation. But you've never done it before. Oh, you wish there was someone here to show you how to reinstall windows. Before I get to the meat and potatoes of this video, if you follow along with this video and your Windows installation CD does not boot, then the video I am linking to right now is what you need to watch. If your CD boots, then continue on with this video. Now, before I start the video, as Windows takes on average over an hour to install, I will be fast forwarding through any part of the installation that does not require user interaction in order to save time and to keep things simple. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is open your CD tray, insert your legitimate copy of Windows into the CD tray, and close the CD tray. At this point, you must restart the computer. Upon restarting the computer, you will see the normal boot up text. Following that, you will see a single line of text that reads, press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Press a key on the keyboard. It does not matter which one. This will trigger the computer to boot from CD. This screen lets you set your language, time and currency format, and desired keyboard layout. But as I am in the US, I will use the default options and click Next to continue. This is a confirmation screen. Click Install Now to continue the installation. This screen shows the license terms for Windows 7. It's a good idea to give this a read so that you fully understand the rights you have when it comes to support and updates from Microsoft. Once you have read the license terms, click the box I accept the license terms and click next to continue. This screen is asking you, would you like to upgrade a previously installed older version of Windows or would you like to do a fresh install? Now due to slowdowns associated with using the upgrade option, I always recommend choosing the custom option and doing a fresh install. This screen is asking you, where would you like to install Windows? This is important if you have more than one hard drive. But as I only have one hard drive in this situation, I will highlight the only one listed and click next to continue the install. This next part is the longest part of the installation. If you would like a break, now is the time to take it. This process on average takes about 20 to 30 minutes to complete. It's time to personalize this computer to you. Type your name here. If using a network, you may want to personalize your network name as well. Type your desired network name here. If you would like to password your computer, type one in the top box and then confirm it by retyping the same password in the second box. And last but not least, give yourself a hint on what your password might be in case you forget. At some point during the installation, you will be presented with this screen asking you to please input your Windows product key. Please do so and click Next. Always choose Use Recommended Settings. It allows your computer to receive its updates automatically. Set your date, time, and time zone and click Next to continue. This screen is asking you, what type of internet network are you on? If you are at home, choose home network. If you are at work, choose work network. And finally, if you are connecting through someone else's connection, then choose public network. Congratulations, give yourself a pat on the back. You have just installed Windows. Your job is not over though. There is still much to be done. Please watch my other videos, installing drivers and 
setting up Windows for the first time. If you have any ideas that you think would make a great video, please send us a message.